Okay, <clears throat> so Capricorn, in your current position, your current place, you have the Ace of Swords. And in this illustration, you see the hand coming from out of the sky, holding firmly onto this very powerful blade, piercing a crown with this wreaths here. This is a gift or blessing from the universe, and it's an opportunity for you to uh, bring forth some intellectual ideas. Maybe you have a new job idea, a new hobby. Uh, you want to write poems. Perhaps it's a blog entry that you're thinking about doing or maybe creating your own website. So this is uh, inspiration for you to be um, uh, to use your mind and to approach things with clarity and straightforward communication. So this again, aces are gifts or blessings or messages from the universe saying, go out there and do something with this. So this is a situation maybe you need to change your thinking about what's going on in your life, a new approach, or it's simply new enterprises and, uh, you know, you've been logically trying to put together your plan. What's crossing you is the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. Pentacles is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we see this guy sitting on his chair with uh, each foot on a pentacle. He's holding his pentacle and he has a pentacle weighing down his head. And so this is about holding on to what you have, that you're not willing right now to take a risk and that you want to keep the status quo. You're not about taking, going to extremes. You want to preserve what you have. In some instances, this could be construed as not being very generous and kind of stingy and holding on, but sometimes you need to protect your assets. You need to protect yourself and it's okay to be in a holding pattern. And so what's crossing you is that you're just not willing to take any wild risks. You're just kind of staying the course, you know, in uh, protecting what you have and you know, you're keeping your eye on your resources. It's perhaps a time for you to, Watch your resources. Your foundation is the Knight of Pentacles. And again, more pentacle energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So whether you have someone youthful in your life that you're working with, or this represents energy that you would benefit from, this guy is sitting on this horse. He's the one knight that's not moving. He's observing. He's holding on to this uh, pentacle looking out at the field and maybe planning his next move. And so this is a cautious, hardworking, diligent night. And so this energy is you're putting in time and energy and effort and uh, you're doing a great job. Maybe, maybe you're studying for exams. Maybe you're studying for another degree, certification. Maybe you're putting in the relationship and you're the loyalty in a, rela in, in a relationship. You're putting in the energy and the hard work. That's what I meant to say. In the relationship. Because this knight is hardworking. Loyal, dependable, responsible. The flip side of this knight is that sometimes he works too hard. And doesn't have enough fun. And doesn't take wild risks. And plays things safe. And so... Uh, maybe you're thinking about, you know, practical approach, working, grinding every day, but you know, maybe you need to have some fun as well and some activity and some action. So in your recent past, we have the Knight of Cups, Cups, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And we see this, this Knight, he's in motion on his cup and he's offering, offering the cup to you. This is an offering to you, perhaps, of, of a date, of romance, of an emotional connection. This is a dreamy night. He loves poems. He loves making plans. He loves letters and tender phone calls and 
doing things and do, having fun together. Peaceful, gentle soul, a dreamy kind of guy. The thing to think about is that sometimes he talks a lot, but things don't get done. Things don't happen. Uh, so a romantic potential here of, of an offering is someone who is loving and compassionate and gentle, maybe not so good on follow-through, but something in your recent past, you've had this, maybe someone that you've met, handsome cups man who is on his horse ready to offer you a, a relationship, a date, a fun time, a romantic time. What's crowning you is a wonderful card, is the star. And we see this woman without her clothes and she's pouring water into the pond. She's also pouring water onto earth. She has one foot in the pond and she has one foot on land. It's a connection between the physical and spiritual sense of life. The message of the star is, you know, we wish upon a star. We are guided by the stars. We are hopeful. This is a card of hope and of optimism and belief that everything is going to work out for you and work out in your favor. So Capricorn, in November, uh, you are doing things to take care of yourself, to heal yourself, to give yourself a chance to rest, recover. If you've been through a challenging time, you're resting, you're recovering, you're feeling healing energy. Most of all, you have belief in yourself. You have faith. You have faith that all works out, that the universe is going to provide for you. You are also, you know, without the clothes here, you're laying yourself wide open. And you are okay with being vulnerable. Because when you're vulnerable and you allow yourself to be seen for who you really are, then you attract people who are the right mix or match for you. So have the optimism. Have the faith. Um, you have a lot of people in your in your reading this month, Capricorn. There's a lot of lot going on in your near future. We have the Six of Cups. So again, more water energy, emotional energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we see the little boy is giving the or the little child is giving the smaller child a cup with flowers. And this is a trip down memory lane. It's nostalgia. It's thinking about maybe a past relationship. Maybe you're thinking about your old friends, your, your college days, your high school days, whatever it may be. You're thinking of the past. You're deriving and getting joy from it and finding happiness from thinking about this. This is also a card of gentleness and kindness and showing gentleness and kindness to others, and to always keep that at the forefront of what you do and how you interact with people is to be gentle and kind. Now, the thing to think about with the Six of Cups is it's great to go down memory lane and to have those memories of the past that make you feel good, that make you feel maybe carefree wonder. But don't get stuck there. Don't let it impede or stop your progress from moving forward or growing spiritually. You have to put it into its right perspective and then keep evolving and keep going. But living in the past is not a helpful thing now. So it's just something to be mindful of. At the very literal level, November could be a month where you are spending some time with kids. Maybe they're your children where you have some special fun activities or family or friends that have kids, but children could be a part of your uh, picture for November. Where you are right now, it's the Knight of Wands. And this knight, his horse is powerful. It's in motion. He is confident. He's got his wand in the air. He is ready to play. He is ready to have fun. He's charging in. And this is maybe what has been lacking for you, is that with the Knight of Pentacles working hard, diligent, paying attention to everything, being the responsible, the dutiful one, to what extent, though, are you not having as much fun or adventure? This is a card of action, of 
uh, doing things, calling up friends, going for hikes, uh, going bowling, whatever it may be, fishing, going on a road trip. It's a sense of let's do instead of let's work. Um, and maybe your action plan, maybe you have a couple people here to think about when it comes to romance. You have someone who's really dreamy and charming and kind and sweet and loving. And then you have a charismatic go-getter who takes over the room when they come in the room. He, everyone notices the Knight of Wands. And so Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius sign could be coming your way. In your environment, you had the Moon card. In the Moon card, we see the wolf and the dog howling at the moon. We see the towers, and we see a path, and we see the little crayfish or crawfish easing out of the water. So this is a card of sometimes feeling uncertainty or anxiety, of not knowing the path of what's coming. And so this is a chance for you to really think about what lies beneath the surface. Sometimes the moon tricks us. We think we're seeing one thing and we're not. And so it's calling for you for honest reflection of diving deep within your subconscious, relying on some of your intuition and your psychic abilities uh, to dig deep and to think about really what's going on. Why do you feel necessary to hold on and to keep the status quo? What are you afraid of? Often, some say that this is about deception. It's really uncertainty. It's not knowing what the future holds. You really don't have a sense, even though you have great faith here with the star card. You still have this tension of uncertainty of what's, what's going on with me. Why am I, why am I either stuck in the past? How am I going to make a choice between all these fellows? This energy of all these nights within my within my life in November, what what am I going to do with that? It goes back, I think, now getting a clearer picture of looking at the Ace of Swords. It's some clear thinking is needed, some clear, clear clarity wise, objective thinking is necessary. So in your uh, in your hopes and fears, you have the Hanged Man. We have a sense that this guy, he is comfortable hanging from, I have it upside down, hanging from where he is. And so with the hanged man, it can be about sacrifice. And again, working too hard, knight of pentacles, not letting go of your resources, not finding the fun and the adventure, and that maybe you need to change your perspective. Maybe you need to do some alternate thinking about the people who are within your circle, within your life, the opportunities that you have. This is new perspective, sacrificing, but you know, he has a halo here. He's okay with, with the pause. There's a sense of pausing and kind of thinking about things. And again, it's a, it's a uh, cerebral card because you're really giving thought to your position. You may not, uh, you may be saying what you feel and what you believe, and people may be giving you a hard time about it, because sometimes people don't want new ideas or new approaches. They want you to just keep doing what you're doing, which is a lot of this four of pentacles. You have to be true to yourself and come up with an idea, a perspective, an approach that's going to work for you whether you have to uh, suspend whatever it is, a relationship, a dating situation, a job, you're going to have to take some time. This is to think about things. Think about your approach. Give it a new approach. And in your outcome, again, it goes to the sense of pausing and suspension. The Seven of Pentacles is about nurturing and taking the time to grow your your work, your product, your, your money, your career. 
growing and tending to a relationship. So if you're in a relationship or if you're hoping to, it takes work. If you're single and you're trying to date, it takes you know, energy to date people. It takes a lot of time to respond by email and to make calls and to make plans and to go meet someone, then to decide whether it's going to work out or not. If you're in a relationship, it takes time to work on a relationship of give and take. If this is relating to your work and your career, you know, you have to be mindful of when you're ready to harvest these pentacles, because if you do it too soon, you can ruin your, your crop. You know, it's, it won't be the perfect ripeness when it goes to market. So with the seven of pentacles, you are taking a time out, and it's necessary for you in November, Capricorn, to take a time out and pay attention to what's going on. How is your progress? You know, are you going to reach your goal? I think that if you hang in there, you will, because this is upright and it's, you know, uh, more than like, it seems that everything is moving forward for you. Um, but this is really about assessing, taking a break and looking at your work, going from there. If you have to adjust, make an adjustment. So let me just take a look here. We have cups with the Six of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So we do have some emotional content, you know, revisiting the past, memory lane, gentleness and consideration and kindness for others, children perhaps. We have someone in your midst, a uh, water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, who is dreamy and charming and loving and poetic and someone who would be probably wonderful to spend time with. We also have this Knight of Pentacles sitting on his horse, observing and working hard and working hard perhaps and working harder to the exclusion of having some fun, you know, holding on to what you have. Responsibility, dedication, loyalty, sometimes at your expense. Ultimately, though, you have a lot of faith that things are going to work out for you. You're optimistic. You just maybe need some healing time to recover from this work. Adventure is calling your name. Action, some energy, hobbies, dating, dating someone maybe who has a different approach than these guys. It's, uh, you know, you've got some... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and this, this night is um, going to have some fun. May not be around for the long term, but wants to have some fun. You have some uncertainty. You're unclear. You need to dive deep. Think about your subconscious. Think about um, what maybe you're holding back. And then there's like a pause here in the action. There's like a sacrifice you feel that you're making for the benefit, for good. And there's a pause here in your nurturing and your hard work of assessing what you're doing, of where you're going. So let's get a little more information about the love aspect for you, Capricorn. Ownership. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. So taking ownership, you know, standing up, for your standing up and admitting the good and the bad. I like focusing on the accomplishments. You know, take be good to yourself. People are not perfect. They make mistakes. And so it's a part of the learning experience. So um, whether you are meeting lots of people, having a lot of people within your life, um, it's, they're all opportunities to enrich your life and to... Improve the dynamic of seeing how people respond and react. You know, these, these knights are three different characters here who bring their own level of charm and interest with them. And finally, let's close the reading with a practice area or a theme for the month of November for you, Capricorn. Divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire. And so looking at your heart's true desire can help clarify the moon here, the moon card. 
really thinking about what you want out of life. It just seems that you've been working hard. Perhaps you want more adventure and excitement. Perhaps you really want to focus in on the loving relationship with someone who is gentle, kind, uh, responsive. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's desire? Again, and maybe it's a change of thinking for you. Let me get these cards here. A change of thinking. A new approach, a new idea for you to, to sharpen your life, to make your life pop a little bit more. 